Las Vegas, Sandy Castell and Friends. The host, here is Sandy Castell. Hi, and welcome to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. I think we've got some callers on the phone right off the bat. Who's on the phone for us, Ryan? We have Haley Rose Williams. Haley Rose Williams. How are you, Haley? Um, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good, good, good. And who else do we have, Ryan? Walt Biondi. How are you, Walt? Hi, Sandy. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good, good. You know, Walt was just on the show last week, Haley, or a couple weeks ago, and uh, he's another author, so we got two authors on the phone. we got Chef Michael here looking at his cards. Uh, you going to look at your cards, Michael, or you're going to join made. the show? I'm gonna, I'm, I just met. <laughs> okay. I'm looking at Walt anyway. Biondi here. My buddy. Hi, Walt. Hello, Michael. Hi, pal. <laughs> hey, Michael, I tried out your Philly cheesesteak recipe. It's wonderful. Ha <laughs> ha. Sure? How'd you make it? <laughs> the way you told me to. I'm proud of you, buddy. I told you, you, did you use the filet mignon? Yes, I did, but I have a question for you. Go ahead. Are you going to be writing a cookbook and having it published? Because if so, I want to buy a copy. Well, you know something, Walt? In 1992, I wrote a cookbook many, many years ago. And, uh, and I'm in the process of doing another one. Good. You know, And I'm very, very excited about that. Because like I say, the, the, I try to make things very, very easy for people to cook. You know what I'm trying to say to you? And I know that that dish would have been delicious. Cause, and I said this so many times. There's so many people out there that watch these TV shows. And they're all the cooking shows. Shows are nice and, and they're wonderful. And there's a gazillion of them. Right. But, <laughs> but the problem, As Michael would say. Michael. But the problem, Walt, is that, that people don't cook like that at home. It's <laughs> nice if you go to culinary school. That's right. They the, cook simply. Right. But the average guy and girl don't cook like that. So that's why I've been very, very successful to show these peasant dishes and to make these different dishes because you got to remember some. We're the number one radio show. So many people listen to us, which we're so pleased. But my s recipes are very, very simple because it's from my grandmother, and which is nice. And I thank you for making that full of your cheesesteak. I wish to God I had a slice of it. <laughs> so Haley, <laughs> Haley, you don't know yeah. about how Chef Michael uh, you know, shares his recipes and stuff. So I'm sure he's going to want to know what your favorite Italian restaurant uh, recipe is. What is it, Haley? You're not in relation to Haley Mills, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> we, first, before you say anything, Haley, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Miami. Oh my God! You know, I love Miami. Miami, Miami. Beach. Miami. Miami Beach, yeah. I love it. You know, I'm a, I'm a lot older than you, Haley. You're just a young lady. But when I was a kid in the early 60s, I used to play at 198th and Collins Avenue in Mary County. And then I played at the uh, 12 Caesars. I played the Fonte Blue. Boy, that was wow. the days. I was like 14, 15 years old. And I was just a kid. In those days, Miami Beach was all Italians and was all the Jewish population. That's what was and out Wolfie. there. You ever get a Wolfie? Miami oh beach. my god they make the best corned beef i've ever tasted in my life that's <laughs> right and i grew up there are you let me ask you a question if you remember i don't know what your national what, what's your nationality if i may ask i'm irish all right all the jewish delicatessens the minute you walked into place on each table they had um tomatoes they had sauerkraut and they had the kosher pickles Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It was great. Oh, yeah. You know, Vegas had a place called uh, New York, New York uh, Deli. They, I don't know. They, I guess they quit, went out of business. They had the best matzo ball soup. That was the closest thing to really kosher food. And, you know, the one thing about the Jews, they don't fool around when it comes to corned beef and pastrami. <laughs> These people know their business. Let me tell you. Uh, what about the Italians? Well, won't be closed, and I was not happy. Uh, well, you know, it's funny. Uh, things change. Nationalities change. The world changes. You know, and i got to tell you something. I've been very blessed to be at the age of 62, and I had a blessing to live in the in the, in the 50s, to be raised in 1950. I was born in 52. I was 10 in 62. And that was when, like, Sinatra was at his peak with, uh, right. with, with Count Basie. And, I mean, that was the, even the cars, if you look at the cars those days, the 60s. Because, truthfully, from 40, 50, 60... It was 30 years of the best of the best of the best. 1970, 1980, 1990, bada boom. It, it took a nosedive. Bada boom. 
All right, I want to make Sandy walk. talk to you because she's busting my hump this morning. So I'll make her talk All to right. you. All right. Really? I think it's the other way around. Anyway, um, so Walt, you, uh, you, how have you, what have you been doing lately since you came on the show? You've been promoting that book of yours? I, I have been. It's called The Promiscuous Puppeteer, as you probably recall. Yes. Love that book. But I, I, everything's going fine, and, and our five-star ratings and reviews continue to grow. It's just phenomenal, and I'm so pleased. That, but I wanted to thank you and Michael so much for having me and my wife Maria on your show. It was the best event we had in our entire book tour. So I wanted to thank <laughs> oh, you. Come on, Walt. Thank you're you. just saying that because you're Walt. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Anyway, you know, you have a big dinner show coming up this Saturday, and it's and it's Sandy's birthday, isn't it? That's yes, right. she's 25 years old. Again. <laughs> thank Are you. Are you going to be entertaining, you and Michael? I well, think Michael's going to be entertaining. I might sing a song or two. I might do maybe a half a song. My, uh, <laughs> we got the Dick Castell Orchestra. I'll sing the scatting part. The, the, the Dick Castell uh, uh, Jazz Band, which is Sandy's dad. Right. My father, you know, he, uh, Dick is 117 years old and he's Uh-oh. still performing. No, he's doing a great job. But then That's we got good Mark. For his age. Yes, he does. It. Then we got Mark um, Thompson. We got four major, four to five opera singers. It's going to be open bar, food. It's going to be phenomenal. Nice. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. This is the last big, b- b- last big b- Wema b- 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 event of the year. That's right. You know, well, nice. and it's going to be a sleeper. I got a call today, believe it or not, Sandy, from the girl from the railroad. She was trying to get a hold of you, and uh, she texted you a couple times, and she wanted to send it. I said, just you can just take care of the door, no problem. So she's excited to come. So it's going to be a, a very elite type of crowd, but a lot of fun, a lot of great food, a lot of great entertainment, and we hope to raise a lot of money for Sandy's charity, Wema. Wima, Wima, Wima. Wima, Wima, Wima. And can find it on your website, but I wanted to tell you that Maria and I had hoped to be able to attend, but I can't because of a prior commitment, a book signing event. No. But, but you know, Sandy, uh. I, I'd love to hear you sing someday some of the songs that I love that you sing so well, like Don't Cry for Me, Argentina, and Cry Me a River, and um, let's see what other, Indiana Rain, and Viva <laughs> Las Vegas, of course. <laughs> well, thank you, Walt, and it's so good, and thank you so much. And say hi to Maria for us, okay? I will. Happy holidays to you both. All right, you we look forward much. to seeing you the next time you're in Las Vegas. Okay, Haley, good luck with your book. Thank you. Okay, okay, bye. 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 Everybody's right. Bye. Uh, that exciting. I know, wow. I know. What do you think about that, John? We got John uh, John uh, Styles. Doing it with Styles. Doing it with Styles John with John Styles. Styles. That's right. We got Ryan behind the uh, desk here. Ryan Silva taking care of the engineering here today. And, you know, we have a great staff here at Lotus Broadcasting yeah, at KLAV. Uh, John Lindquist. Yeah, I love and I know you love John Lindquist's hair. Michael. I want to look like John. Yeah. John. John's got, this guy, John's got the full package. He's 6'4". He's, he, the kid should have been in movies. He looks just like uh, Rock Hudson. You ought to be in movies and pictures. He looks just like Rock <laughs> Hudson. And he's talented and he's got a great voice. And he won't give up his sandwiches when he comes to lunch. <laughs> he won't no, he also those. has bananas and apples in he there, too. He won't give them up. You know, it's good. You know, Michael, it reminds me, because, you know, you started working six hours a day out there at the jockey club now. And, you know, every time you come back, you say, I didn't get a thing to eat today oh, all day. I didn't get a break. You should do what John Lindquist does. Have a little, you know, have your little package, you know, with oranges and apples and bananas and a little sandwich, you know. Well, you know we can make you a meatball sandwich. That take with you, great. you know, in the morning. The, the big, <laughs> Pack a lunch. The, the big thing there is that, uh, well, right now I don't want to really talk about that. I want to talk about her book. Well, of course we do. Yeah. And Haley, hold on, because we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. If you're just tuning in now, you're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. Santa, I've been making my list all year long. So winner. This is Sandy Castell and Fred. Here again, your host, Sandy Castell. Hi, and welcome back to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. You know what, Michael? Yep. We've got our show coming up this weekend, and you know we had it on last weekend. And the thing of it is, is some people don't have either Cox or DirecTV right. or antennas. So... If they can't find it on TV this weekend, if for some reason you didn't find it on, I'm on ten times TV, a day. Well, ten times it's like five times on Saturday, five times on Sunday. And if you didn't see the show, you can go to our YouTube site where it is up and running, so you can watch that all day, all day, all night. Hey, Haley, <laughs> Haley, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you remember yeah. Jackie Wilson? 
Jackie Wolfson? Yeah. Well, there's a Wolfson College downtown Miami. Are you talking no, about no, that no, family? the singer Jackie Wilson. 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 Oh. Does that oh, sound? I'm afraid not. Well, you're too young then. Well, anyway, we went to see a show, Sandy and I, a couple days ago. We went to go see Bob, his son. Bobby Brooks. Bobby Wilson. Brooks. I'm going to tell you something. And I, I got to give this kid the shout out on the air. He was incredible. Incredible. Wow. He, imperson- he did impersonations, Little Richard. He did his dad. His, You know, I got to tell you, I'm very critical on the air about entertainers. This kid. And off. And off. This kid blew me out of the seat. The kid was what a great, great, I'm telling you, great performer. And for those that, if he comes to your town, his name is Bobby Wilson, you need to go see this kid. And okay. Yeah, he was great. He was great. And, uh, you know, he put on a wonderful show, and uh, he had these dancers up. Do you know that uh, Rich Rizzo was there with Suzanne, and yep. they did a number to yep. one of uh, one of his dad's songs? And it, they, they what was that called? That that style of the Slinky Slash? Was, the Adagio? No, but no, that wasn't. But this song, remember he said that the song is kind of a certain style, kind of style, and they did that. Well, whatever. Anyway, they did a dance to that. And then also they had a couple of kids come up that are, um, they, I, I don't know what their names were. I can't remember. But um, they did this. The break dancing. And break dancing and stuff. And they're like 18 years old. And they're in all these commercials. And they're doing all this stuff. But their break dancing was really unique, really unique. And uh, so it was, it was very entertaining and a lot of fun. And, of course, Bobby Bobby uh, Brooks Wilson was amazing. He was. He blew me away. I'll be honest. And what happened and was it, they didn't have our tickets at the door to say had <laughs> made a mistake. You know. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I didn't care. I and just, you know how that I, feels, Haley. Sometimes yeah, you show up and you go to you know. Will Call and there's no call. There's no tickets. No tickets. Then so, you got to go no, back to the just... back of the line. So I said, no problem. Oh. I said, I'll pay for the tickets. So I, yeah. I paid for the tickets. It didn't make any difference to me. And it was worth every penny I yeah. paid. Yeah. And, you know, and afterwards, we went over to see uh, we went over to see T. T. Fox, Fox over oh, at the God, uh, Treasure great. Island at the uh, oh, yeah? Kahunaville. Right. Kahunaville. Oh, my gosh. He rocked it till the end of the night. I mean, until it... Early morning hours. It was amazing. I guess you guys love what you do. I know. Oh, we do. Yeah, well, Michael yeah. doesn't like much of anything. I know. But, you know, every once in a while, I do know what he likes. He likes cooking, he likes playing the drums, and he likes singing. So, you know, <laughs> there's a few things that he likes. You but, Haley, enough about us. Let's talk about you and your book. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> so tell us. So now, now the how did how did you know, come to write this book? Okay, why is this book you know so different than everything else that you've done? Well, this is my first book. Um, like I said, I'm I'm down here in Miami, so I was born and raised in Miami, and um, I'm a nurse. I'll give you a little background. I'm a nurse, and um, I've been a nurse for a long time. I have a background in nutrition, and I'm a in diabetes, so. I'm really into health and wellness, and um, I have a lot of stories about my patients. And um, anyway, one long story short, one day, you know, a lot of times I, I have this one incident in my life happen, and I would tell people the story about what happened to me, mm-hmm. and they would always say, oh You my should God, write a book. <laughs> it's just an impossible story. You have to put write a book. And so after years of hearing that, I wrote a book. So that's really how it came about that I wrote this book about, you know, this, this traumatic event that happened to me. And, um, but not, had, but, but not only about your traumatic event, about some of the, you know, about what some of the others have gone through, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, so that's how I started writing the book. It is my, it is my first book and, um, I'm really excited about it and I hope that the message of my book is really what I, what I am about and what I am promoting. So that that's that's how I got started here. So now are you have your own website for the book? I do. I have my own website. It's uh www.haleyrosebarrett.com. And um there's direct links in everywhere on there that you can get in touch with me or, or actually buy the book or read the reviews on Amazon. Mm-hmm. And what's the title of the book? Changing Lanes from Hell to Heaven. <laughs> I love that title. Changing Lanes from Hell to Heaven. <laughs> That's it, it, it. Yeah. So, so now how did you come up with that title? Well, 
<laughs> you know, for, for each of us, uh, hell and heaven might be too, you know, everyone has their own definition of it. Right. We, we you know, have, our lives are full of decisions and we manage the highs and the lows in our life and however we manage them, that inevitably steers us down one road or the other. So I use that metaphor in my book, which which is a road. And um, mm-hmm. so hell, hell for me at that time was living my life prior to being dismissed from the medical program that I entered. And so that was my hell, being dismissed from this program. And mm-hmm. I that's a lot of what the book is about. You know, I hit rock bottom, and there was no way out for me. So that was my hell. And so really heaven and hell was how did I turn my thinking and my life around to get to a place that I can say, you know, I can say, okay, that's a good place in my life. That's my heaven. And it's really symbolic for all of the lane changes that I had to make in my life and all the seasons and to get through the high and the low mm-hmm. and the challenges. Well, that's a great idea. Uh, now, did you work with an editor, too, while you were working on this book, or did you just do it all and then put it all in? Or did, did you do the editing yourself? Did you work with an editor? I worked with an editor. Um, I am I am working again for another uh, book now with an editor, and apparently... Anyway, it, it just takes a lot of editing and putting and finalizing and formatting. But no, the first book, yes, I, okay. I absolutely worked with an editor and... Um well, my story. Good. Well, you know, Haley, we've got uh, we've got one of our friends on the phone, T. Fox. Hi, T. Fox. How you doing? Oh, my God. I just rolled over and I thought about you guys. And I just wanted to call to say I had a ball with you guys. Thank you so much for coming to the show. That was great. It was, <laughs> it was, yeah. it was unbelievable to see Seth Mike there bobbing his head, you know, and and to see you to get up and dance, it was just so much fun. I just want to say I love you guys. And Diana, we got Diana up there dancing with us, and Monique, oh, and, yeah, Diana. and all the girls. Yeah, we the had us. was there, and, thank, and, and Perry came, and I was really shocked. Yeah, Robert. I know. Oh, Perry, Dr. Perry. Yeah, they just had had flown back into town and uh, a couple something. days before. And so, yeah, they, uh, they actually went to see Clint Holmes and then came over after the Clint Holmes show. Oh, wow, the big brother Clint. Yeah, so they did two <laughs> two shows in one night. I got to ask you this. Did you have fun? Oh, we had a blast. I had a lousy oh, time. Yeah. Hey, there's <laughs> yeah. my brother. What time there's did you get done? Brother, one of the sharpest dressed men. I tell you, that man can dress when he goes out. That's, That's right. Sure. I'm still a chick magnet, buddy. Let me ask you a hey, question. I, I, <laughs> if you guys chase me, too. Uh, well, you I, know what? Every, go ahead, sir. Uh, what time do you get done? Actually, um, on Fridays, because it's, you know, the 105.7 old school party, I get done probably around uh, 1 o'clock, somewhere around there. I didn't get out of there that evening till maybe about 3. Oh, because, yeah, sure. uh, wow. They, 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 they paid me extra to keep them there. Well, you know something? Really? That's a good thing. Wow. A paid gig. You know, I know you, I know you got a disc jockey there that works with you, you know, and you guys do, you go back and forth. But ladies and gentlemen that are listening, for those that never got a chance to see the magnificent T Fox, you better go get get in a car and go down. He's at a, he's at the Treasure Island. Okay, the, his act is phenomenal. That's he's in the Kahanaville. In Kahanaville. Kahuna. Kahunaville. Sorry, Kahunaville. Kahunaville. It's, Kahunaville. It's, 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 yeah. Right, and, and T Fox is. And, but you know, Sunday nights. I just want to say is that's my lava love night. That's when I can do two hours straight. Was that myself. what you were doing last night? Without, with, <laughs> love, love, love. All right. Really? You're the love only guy that can do that. <laughs> you, Wayne and, Newton, and Sammy Davis is the only guys that can do that stretch. Night. You just flow in there and sit back, and it's for the grown and sexy like you guys. <laughs> we hear the big band numbers from Tony Bennett, Frank Sinatra, and that key. So it's my night to do what I want right. to do. Cool. There's only Sunday one night. thing, one constructive... Night is crazy. <laughs> One constructive criticism I'm going to give you. Uh oh. All right. Uh oh. Here we go. A, hey, we're working on a big band now. Oh no no no! Ain't about the band. <laughs> they need to put a spotlight on you because what happens yeah. is, is when you jump off that stage, you're in the oh, dark. Yeah. You gotta have a light. They you. got to give you no, a spotlight. We're wor- we're working hard to get into another room for a spotlight, if you know uh-huh. what I mean. Oh, that's great. So, so, you know, everything's in step, but you know me, man. I got to have my spotlight. I'm like Sammy, man. 
I got to be seen wherever I go. <laughs> well, I'm being honest with you because when you jumped off the stage, I I looked you I, you get blended into the crowd. Yeah, you know? but part of that part That's of that. Because I was, you know why? Because I was in the crowd. Yeah, and and, and the, the good thing about that is that he he does get in the crowd. He gets them dancing. You had him doing the line dancing, the step dancing, the soul I dancing. Do that. You, you know, had him all doing people. it all. I, I love people, and people love you. And when you put your energy out there, they right. just jump all around you. That's you're right. You're not scared of them. You know, a lot of artists, you wouldn't see, you know, a lot of people jump out in the audience like that. Right. You really got to have a bodyguard or two, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I but when you walk... Well, yeah, what's your idea? You can wear um, a little light around your head like the miners. Oh, oh <laughs> there you go. You know and no, 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 but you got to have it where it points back at him, shines up in his right. face or something. Well, the funny well, part he is would know like, where he is in the that, house. That's <laughs> right. He would know where he is, the funny part is That's is a I good idea, a Haley. Over me, so I glow wherever I go. There you go. go, there you go. And your wife was there, too, and Monty <laughs> Fox, and she was hot. Yes. She was up oh, getting the crowd I up. I, would, I don't know what I would do without her. Cause well, I you know what's funny, T? I, I, I looked over where I was sitting at, and across there was that oxygen. Well, I don't know, people, they breathe that oxygen stuff. Oh, I go there all the time to breathe, man. My well, God, I, it my didn't do nothing for me. I mean, I hate to tell you that. I mean, He was walking around oh, talking like this. What are you talking about? about? He was talking like this after he got done with the oxygen tank. That was helium. <laughs> so anyway, I went uh, over there. Oh, it must have been a helium tank. Then you must have mistaken which one you were using. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it was. So the girl says, I said, how much is it? She yeah, says, she was also rubbing his back. She says $20. So I'm sitting down, right? So I paid the girl the 20 I figured yeah, I never yeah, tried yeah. it before. Mm -hmm. She sticks these yeah. tubes up my nose. Now I know how these people feel that are in the hospital. You know, and, and, and I'm saying, well, I don't feel nothing. I don't know what the hell expect to feel. She said, well, you get a drink with it. So I said, okay, give me, and I don't drink. I said, give me a Kahlua and some club soda and what's that drink called Sam with the milk a Smith and Kearns a Smith and Kearns so I forgot the name my drink you had so, my drink oh, yeah, they're broad drinks so anyway I turn around and I drink it lightweight and all of a sudden <laughs> the girls behind me breathe the girls behind me Haley, um, Haley Haley with a vibrator with these two hand vibrators on my back yeah she so, is and oh, she's my rubbing baby. my back with the vibrators the and I went honey he's trying to say something oh I'm sorry go ahead so she's rubbing well, my back with the vibrators and I said... Well, you're breathing oxygen, aren't you? Because you're gasping for air by this point. Well, no. I don't, it, it, I don't know. What, and it was very nice. But it was a little oxygen uncomfortable because really Sandy cool. looked at me. And I cannot tell you the argument she gave me when I went home. Oh, oh no. I didn't give well, any argument. Party with you guys. That's all I'm no, say. what I did is, well, I said, oh, you're enjoying yourself, honey? He said, yeah, this is nice. I said, really? There's this big guy standing there, the bouncer. And I said, excuse me. That's could, my bodyguard. Yeah. Could, could you rub my up. back, please? <laughs> yes, and he rubbed my back, and he gave me a massage. <laughs> I said, ooh, that you feels nice. Said, you you right, Michael, this feels really nice. I see what you're saying. Thank you, T. Fox. We love anyway, you, T. we had a great time. Uh, hey, hey, the bottom line is we had a great time. I love you guys. You guys are my favorite. <laughs> hey, you, guys, you know what? We'll get together real soon, maybe dinner time uh, for Christmas or something. Sounds, okay? Sounds good. Thanks, T. All All right, right, you guys come on. God you up. You got to okay, come on I'll Saturday. Stop. Yeah, come on Saturday. That's day, right, Saturday o'clock. night. You're supposed to be coming. Remember, bring your that CDs. Our birthday. <laughs> bring your tracks. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Hey, thank you, my brother. That's right. The 13th <laughs> right. over at the Wema event over at this is going to be at Canyon Gate Estates, and it's the last big event of the year, and including oh. celebrating my birthday. So you got to show oh up. Oh my God. Okay, we're so, looking forward okay, to hearing you sing me. Am I going to hear my Christmas CD? Yes, you are. <laughs> and I played all day long. He's been cooking to your Christmas CD. Right. Roasting on an open fire. There you sing go. It, sing it. Rock, at your nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, you Fox. Say hi to Imani. Happy holidays, everybody. May God be with you all and have a good time on this holiday season. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, take care. Okay. Yeah. If you're just tuning in now, you're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. We are here on KLAV, Lotus Broadcasting, five days a week, 9 to 10 a.m. So you can join us every day here. You can also find us on YouTube in the afternoons because John Styles posts our show every single day. It comes out on about 3 o'clock. Also on the weekends, we are on all kinds of channels. you got to check us out. Go to our Facebook page, like us, and you can see where we are going to be on the TV shows 
And then the TV show will also be posted on our YouTube site. So we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Friday, this is Sandy Castell and Friends. Here again, your host, Sandy Castell. And welcome back to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show. That was Sandra Hartzell, the author, uh, another author calling in today. But I think she meant to call on the other line. Anyway, so Haley, um, so, yeah. you, so you wrote this book, and then now you're doing the book tour? I am. I'm doing the book tour thing. And um, are, you doing it, well. are you doing it online, too, and uh, in stores? Yeah. How do you do it? Um, right now, I'm doing it online, and um, I soon will be doing it in, the, in stores. Good, good. So now, now, Chef Michael, did you want to ask her about her favorite Italian rec- recipe? Haley, what kind of, uh, if you were in an Italian restaurant, what type of Italian food would you like? A cannoli. <gasps> cannoli. Well, you know, I'm going to have to turn that one over to Sandy <laughs> because I don't because bake. Because I eat dessert first. It's okay. It's all right. Well, believe well, it or well, not. What about your main course? What is your main course that you eat if, uh, after would- the dessert? I would order chicken parmesan. Ooh, chicken parmesan. Michael, you know how to make chicken parmesan. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> well, chicken yeah. parmesan, eggplant parmesan, it's yeah. the simplest thing in the world to make. Now, see, the whole key of those two dishes is your sauce. But I'm going to tell you something. For those people, for those people that do not know how to cook, they just don't know how to cook and they want it, you can go to your favorite grocery store. You know, they have ragu. They have Prego. They have, you know, they have these sauces. Do you have Smith's down there in Miami? That's Kroger. Do you have Kroger? No, we have Publix and Winn-Dixie. Oh, okay. Right. Public, well, what you do is you go down the aisle. If you don't know how to make a pasta sauce, because, you know, that's an art in making sauce. Let's do you know how it. to make a sauce? I do. Okay. Oh, she does. I actually make Yeah, I do. Tell uh, me your secret to making a great sauce. What's that in- secret ingredient you add? <laughs> Well, Michael. I, no, you, Michael. No, her. Oh, okay. Her. So I was going to say, I don't no. have a secret ingredient. <laughs> oh, I, well, I know Chef Michael has a secret ingredient. I was asking him. But it's I called guess onions. It's- okay. Okay, onions and garlic. You know what I mean? Like uh, I said, everybody's sauce is different. But but seriously, if anybody's listening out there, what's the people are? And if you want to make something, a chicken parmesan, you get the key to the chicken is you get your chicken breast, you cut it, you split it. You fillet it. You don't cut it in half. You fillet it, which is completely different thing how to make this mm-hmm. and what you do is you get your eggs and you, your parsley and your garlic and your milk and you dip that in there and then you what you do you take it out and you put it in your breadcrumb you fry it and then when you're done frying it then you build it then you add your sauce you add your you put the sauce underneath on the top then you add your parmesan cheese your mozzarella your parsley and you bake it in the oven for about five to six minutes at 400 degrees just enough for the mozzarella the mozzarella to, to melt and you have a great chicken parmesan that's very very that's simple delicious. To make that. Right, that now the cannoli sandy's going to tell you how to make the cannoli well do you have a do you have a pizzelle machine uh, do you know what a no, pizzelle is no I, ha- I have a public bakery <laughs> that's a good place to get your cannolis <laughs> no actually i just i just learned how to make them a couple weeks ago and really? um, yeah diana pascal had been talking about them and then uh we were over in what was the name of that store sir sir la table michael yeah, sir, over at the uh, downtown Soleil. Summer, it was down at the Circus Summerlin Soleil. downtown Summerlin mall that's brand new down here and it's out on the west side of town so we were in there and we found a pizzell m- m- uh, machine little you know and uh, what you do is you you just follow the directions on there, you know, and you put like four cups of flour, two cups of sugar. You put a little extract of vanilla, extract of uh, rum, different things. Oh, baking soda. That's what you forgot, Michael. Baking when you tried powder. To, baking powder. Matt Michael tried to make them the other day, and he forgot the baking powder. It's very important. And then also, I used butter, but he used oil. So you can use either um, either a cup of butter or a cup of oil and use that. And you mix it all together. And then uh, I put some um, some nuts in it. I shaved, what, I ground up some um, nuts, some pecans. And then, mm. um, and then at the end, then we, um, oh, no, no. That wasn't for the, but the, no, wait, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting into the cannoli mixing. But um, 
<laughs> anyway, so but once you get all the mixture up and then you put it in the Patel machine, then um, you it cooks and it just cooks in like 20 seconds. So it's really fast. And it's a little bit of when you first start, it's a little bit of trial and error, you know, to get because it's really hot. And you got we, we sprayed the uh, we sprayed the machine with some uh, Pam, well, Pam, right? Some canola Pam. But I found out that if you use the oil, you don't have to do that to, because it's inside. And they cook. Yeah. I'm surprised they cook so fast. So we use anise, seconds. anise, uh, anise, you know, that they put in sausage. I like a lot of that, yeah. and it came out. It came, well, mine were okay. Fennel seeds, actually. Yeah, fan, that's it. Fennel, fennel seeds. seeds yeah, it came yeah. out okay, you know. But you know, bacon is just, you know, I just it's, it's not I, his it's thing. It's not my thing. But then, so what I did is then after the uh, after the pizzelles come out, what you do is they they give you a dowel which is about an inch thick, and then you roll the pizzelle around it and just kind of press it down, you know, where the seam is, and then that's how you make your cannoli shells. Canola. Wow. Cannoli, cannoli now the key shells. is the is the stuffing. So you get the ricotta cheese, ricotta. Now, ricotta. Tell, now tell Sandy, tell everybody what you put in the ricotta. I forgot. But the directions are right there. <laughs> well, it's, it's, uh, I believe it's vanilla. It's vanilla. It's the same stuffing, uh, but different. You don't put Parmesan cheese in it naturally because that's the same stuffing used for a ravioli. No. No. But, uh, but the ricotta cheese, and they put well, like I put sugar. I put the little nuts. I mean, the, uh, the, that's where I put the nuts. And then that's where I also put the little chocolate, like Hershey sugar. kisses. And, you, know, you put sugar in it? Semi-sweet, yeah. Just fill it with chocolate. Yeah, yeah just fill it with chocolate, he's, John says. Yeah, um, fun to make. But they've got all kinds of different fillings that you can use. But it was really, it was really fun. And then I used one of those sleeves that you use what are those called the filler sleeves like cakes you know, those cake sleeves and you ha that's funny you but have to fill it all and they're, they're the ones I have are the um, yeah, throwaways the but throwaways. if you use the bag the bag if you, you use the bag it's Sandy, a lot it's a lot because you you fill it up and you turn you can work with it yeah because once that stuff's on your hand it slips and you oh, can't, you're it's, slipping on sliding uh, you know. all over the place but uh, you, you can't know, get it no. off the floor no you can't do <laughs> no, it you can't. and then of course I was trying to reuse one of the bags oh that doesn't work you got to start all over with the with the uh, replaceable. Well, you know, Haley, uh, Haley uh, what I'd like you to do is, uh, and everybody in the world has YouTube, so what you do is go on your computer and put in shopping, S-H-O-P-P-I-N-G, at, at Smith's. Mm -hmm. Smith's, S-M-I-T-H-S. Yeah. You'll see Sandy and I, you'll see the TV show that we did for them. That was the uh, pilot, the, the original, because we got a slew of stuff that's on that that YouTube. YouTube. Every day, John Styles, exactly. our cameraman, posts up the show that we do here. Then we got the television awesome. show that we're doing, you know. So great! I'm gonna look that one up. So, yes. so Haley, uh, do you have a YouTube site? I do not have a YouTube site, but I probably need one. Don't you know, I? have you ever thought about it? Because obviously you haven't, but it's a really good thing. You could go on there. You could do videos of you talking about your book. Yeah. You could show your book. You could, uh, you know, put some of your your uh, videos of of you being on different interviews around. You know, or you can put the, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of ways to to help promote your book. You know, around the country, especially yep. and around the world. We got well, a great idea. Yes, Thank you. We got a friend of ours named Jimmy Melodor. He he wrote a book, uh, jazz. What, uh, it's the the name just slips my mind. I'm so sorry. Jimmy's book, the Vegas the Vegas Vegas player the Vegas player, and and he talks about Anne Margaret. It's about. It's about jazz. Well, he and talks about all of his relationships. All yes. of his relationships. It's a tell all book. <laughs> it the, is a tell all book. The, and <laughs> right. The, the main thing is that today oh, everybody wow. writes a book and you go to a printer and you and you and you take out ten thousand dollars from the bank, you know what I mean, or whatever, and you print your book up, but now you got cases and cases and cases of books that they're gorgeous and now you gotta promote it. You gotta advertise right. it. And there's only a handful of people that are out there, just so you know. There's only a handful of people out there that are or that will pay Stephen King millions of dollars to write books. <laughs> because there's like a hundred thousand people a month that 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 post books you know and today right. right now it ain't like years ago you go and you get i like a book where i can actually pick it up and you can read it but i want this thing where people can go on the air you know and you can actually download a book online online or they oh, yeah. have their kindles or their, their right. book whatever right. or their ipad and they can read it right there now are you a self-published author Haley? i am a self-published author yes okay and um uh, I actually had a movie script written, too, about my book, so I'm working on that project or actively trying to sell the script. That's good. 
That's yeah. good. See, see, that's that's amazing because um, you know if a story's great, then it's going to get out there. And even if it's self-published, a lot of times uh, the publishers will pick up artists if they see that there's uh, a big interest in that book. Then that's then you'll get other publishers coming to you to uh, publish it. Now, the, well, uh, we don't have the we didn't have an opportunity to, to review your book. I didn't. It, the content well, of the that's because you were fell asleep right the, but, the, <laughs> but the content of the he, d- he reads and he falls about two seconds you yeah. know and he falls asleep yeah because I eat chocolates all day Haley I just sit you're around you're gonna have to do a version that's a, a uh, what do you call it the ones that you put in the an audio version um, and, and a lot of people do audio versions of their books you know and then right. that way people can listen to them while they're driving the car and that, uh, while they're traveling it's a really good you thing you know I told a story Sandy wasn't here a couple days ago Haley and, and, and I'm, by, I'm in the studio by myself which is very dangerous because me i go why to, oh let me tell you i tell it like it is if, if something bothers me i shoot it right out over the air but i was okay. telling different stories and, and i told a story about my my uh when i was a kid when i was 10 years old and then this guy knocked on the door anyway i tell the story and on the air and it's very difficult for me being italian i broke down because i relived relived the, the pain of what how i felt at that particular time at the age of 10 which was 52 years ago tragedies hit people's lives throughout their life now a lot of people write books that are fiction or they th- and other people write books that stuff that happened to them and i re- and and anyway i, I says to uh, my our, our uh, engineer today i said anybody say anything to you and and brian what did you say to me get on my kid what did you tell everybody what happened I said there was about uh, four or five people that said that that was one of their favorite shows. Why? They said that it was just so honest. Like, they'd never heard, like, that kind of emotion come out of a host before. Well, you know... We should have you do more of those, Michael. No, no, I don't. And I tell you why I don't want to do that is for the simple fact is that it's, it's a lot of hurt for me. And there's there's a platform for it. That, and every once in a while, that's okay. Well, that's, that's a okay. good platform for it. It is. But I'll yeah. tell you something. I uh, can go shopping more often. I'm sure you can. But the, uh, <laughs> the thing is... <laughs> the thing is, is that, you know... It, this radio show is like for yourself, Haley. So people could know the wonderful quality of what you do. And we're so proud that we're and honored that you had the time to spend with us. So people know who you are. Our listeners will pick up a phone or go to a YouTube and, and buy your book. And I only can hope for every person that we have on here. Okay. If I could touch the hearts of so many people with a story, I'm sure you can touch hundreds of thousands of people with your book. That's right. And everybody can go to www.HaleyRoseBarrett.com. Now, it's B-A-R-R-E-T-T. Did I get that right? Correct. Okay. And uh, it's Uh, on Changing Lives from Hell to Heaven. And this book is written by Haley Rose Barrett. you got to go check it out. Is it also on Amazon? It is. It's on. It's on lots and lots of different sites, but Amazon. Changing lanes from hell to heaven. Okay, well, that good. sounds great. So get there. So first of all, go to her website www.haleyrosebarrett.com. Check out this book, and everybody, get it. Buy it today. Today. <laughs> Thank you, and have a wonderful. Thank holiday. you so much, Haley, for being on our show. Thank we you really for having appreciate me. it. I really appreciate it, guys. Good luck to you, and happy holidays. Same Thank you. To you too. Call us back anytime, anytime you want to, and check in with us. Okay. I sure great. will. Thank okay, you. great. We have somebody on the line. Who is it? Suzanne Gibson. Suzanne Gibson. Hi, Suzanne. How are you? Hi, Sandy. We just wanted to thank Rich and I, Rich Rizzo and I, wanted to thank you and Chef Michael for being at the Bobby Wilson show oh, the other night. You light up every room when you're there. <laughs> and we wanted to let you know how good your show is because we would not have met Bobby Wilson, Bobby Brooks Wilson, unless oh. we had been on your radio show. Oh, thank and that you. is where we met him and got connected with him. So we wanted to give you a big shout out and thank, thank you. you and keep up the good work well Suzanne you know Saturday's the big day at Sandy's Wema last Wema event and her birthday of the year of the and her birthday uh-huh. and we would love to have you and Rich and the gang come over to the way you celebrated my birthday you know well, in July was- it's going to be uh-huh. this Saturday uh-huh. Uh, at the 16th it's open bar you know you know I always go things first class it's going to be phenomenal yes, you do. but I want to tell you oh, something yes. Sue I was telling um uh, Sandy when we left watching you on the stage shows the, the content of entertainment that was exquisite you and Richie 
are absolutely phenomenal. And I really had my eye on the audience. When I watch a performer, I don't watch them. I watch the audience. The audience tells me how good you are. Do you understand? Oh, my God. I watched oh. the audience. I went to go That's see the, uh, real quick, I went to see the Righteous Brothers. And when I went in, I had a Las Vegas Image magazine at the time. I was interviewing them. I sat in the back. I didn't want to go in the front. I sat all, the last row in the back. And as I'm, as they were performing, a guy in front of me had crutches. And the man stood up with his crutches oh. and gave them a standing ovation. <laughs> oh, you cannot see the people. Right. And yeah. I'm being honest with you. You and Rich are the last of the real, great, phenomenal, tremendous dancers. And classy. Oh my God. Classy. Oh. That routine oh. that you guys did was absolutely Unreal. beautiful. Yes. Oh my God. Thank you so much. And you know, I I just hope and praying you guys get to get a room and get a get a room. Get a room. <laughs> get a room. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to yeah. we're gonna have no, we're gonna have you guys you guys, your drums and your singing and everything, you just have to be somewhere because it, we're all missing that kind of entertainment. I know. I know. Yeah. You know if, if it's in God's will, it's going to happen. And I'm going to yeah, say this yeah. to you. We're going to hire you and Rich and the guys, but I want you to know now, you're going topless. Okay. You're going topless. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rich will go topless. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. glad to, trust me. Yeah, I, I tell you, it's amazing. He, you guys are both in such great shape. Unreal. You are, uh, a, you are you. perfect poster childs, childs, <laughs> children, for staying fit and fabulous forever, forever. That's, that's wonderful, and it's such a compliments from you guys. Yeah. Especially because I mean, you're so talented. Seriously, because the uh, Las Vegas Folly Girls, I know, are all, they range from what? 50 on up to 80? 50, 69. Oh, 69. 80. Three, and nobody believes it. To 83 60? years old. Yeah. You're and, the youngest. And uh, I, right now, I'm the youngest. Sometimes we have somebody in there that's about fifty. Yeah. So then I don't get to be the baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But also, you guys were on our show this weekend on TV, and I know you and said you said a lot it. of it you couldn't find it, but that's because it uh, was on uh, different different cable channels that you yeah, don't have. Both of us but have, um, but it's on YouTube, Suzanne. Yeah, it's on look. YouTube. I you, found I found the picture collage, which was awesome. Okay. There were pictures. That's all I could find. No, we got and it. And whoever did that was beautiful. And oh that my That was God, John Andy, Styles. You are the most graphic. You're gorgeous. Mama. Me? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, listen. Uh, I think I you missed another calling this calendar, girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to send you uh, the link for it, okay? And we're going re- to okay. we're gonna repost okay. that up on Facebook today. John will okay. uh, uh, post that link for us, or Diane Fox okay. will post that link for us. So everybody okay. can go see it, okay? Thank okay, you so well, much again, Suzanne. Work, okay, appreciate it. And I love your drumming, Chef Michael. You're Thanks wonderful. a lot. You made an old man feel good. Thank you. (laughs) Okay, bye. All right, love you. Okay, so if you're just tuning in now, this is Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show, and we just got a couple more minutes. So, Chef Michael, do you want to give us another recipe? Well, I, I, what do you want to do? I, oh, I, oh, I, I tell you what I want to do. I want to go to breakfast. What do you want to do? Are you want to? I want to leave here. here I want to go. Again. No, sweetheart. That's <laughs> I get not nice. everybody crying on no, this no. show. Listen, I just uh, look. Every I, time I'm away, I hear about it. I, well, I, everybody I, was. I'm a very deep guy. I'm a very deep guy. You know, let me tell you very something. Deep. The toughest guys you want to meet is the nicest guys. Trust me, that's the guys that are the nicest. Okay. They're the nicest people in the world because, you know, I, you know I, I shoot from my heart. And I'm glad if I touched one person's heart. I don't look for sympathy or the best show or whatever. They're all great shows. The bottom line is every, we have something for everybody that's here. Now, what I'm thinking about right you know, now is going to Denny's and having that chicken fried steak. Because I went there <laughs> and they usually get that and it's dry and it's dead. and It it's, was great oh, the other day. It I was it. delicious. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So it's, uh, we only you got know, a few. They ba- have a new manager over there. Yeah. I, I don't remember. We're going to have to find out. Yeah. I want to go um, to Because he's such a nice guy. And uh, pick the, up my the car. staff over there is just great. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to go over to Denny's and have a little breakfast. And then we're going to go shopping. At Smith's. For the holidays. <laughs> at Smith's. <laughs> of course at Smith's. And also, don't forget, give us a call. 702-348-5707. That's 348-5707. To RSVP for this Saturday, the 13th, for WEMA. WEMA, W-I-M-A, foundation.org. You can go to our website. 
website. And you can also give us a, um, you can send us a RSVP at RSVP at WEMAFoundation.org to let us know if you're going to be there. And um, we're going to have Mark Thompson. The great opera singer. we're going to have some opera singers. We're going to have, uh, I think, Marco Varela. And I believe Betsy Ann is going to be joining right. us. And yes. Dick Castell Jazz and, Quartet. And uh, Baker, Spencer Baker is going to be coming. there to play. Of course, he always plays yeah, for the opera that singers. That's Fabio. And then uh, Dick Castell, my dad, is going to have his jazz quartet there. And then, of course, Chef Michael will get up and sing a couple songs. Maybe. You know, maybe. Maybe if he's feeling in the mood. We've got Cafe de Sabu and Truffles and Bacon and food from Chef Michael. So, give us a call, 702-348-5707 to let us know if you're going to be joining us this Saturday. And we'll see you again here this morning, I mean tomorrow morning, on KLEV, 9 a.m.